because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up, Barry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt rings. Right, the bouncer's guilt rings. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. This is Colin McGuigan for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Delighted to be joined by Andy Lee in New York City. Andy, massive fight week. It's got the big fight feel. Can Jason Quigley do this on Saturday night? He can do it. He can do it. I believe he can. He believes he can. I think that's the most important part. When we're, we're looking at Edgar Berlanga, there's a lot of pressure on him because this is his matchroom debut. His friends, his family in the arena. He has a. He spoke about Canelo. He spoke about Charlo. He has to perform in a dominant fashion. Does that play in the Jason Quigley's hands? Hopefully, it could do. Um, we expect him to be aggressive. He's an aggressive fighter. Big, big punches somewhat. Throws big wide shots. But we see a lot of holds. We see a lot of chances for Jason too. Jason can box and just control himself. Control the, the emotion and the occasion then he's right in the fight. How's this camp been for Jason Quigley? Because you've had the long layoff, then you have the one fight after the Andrade fight. Is he in his prime condition right now? I think he is. I think he's got the experience of the Andrade fight. Also the motivation to set it, set that right and prove to people um, that wasn't a good representation of him. And we've had a good camp because we started training at the start of the year, rolled straight into the fight in April, and then he's just carried on into this one. You know, so... Not really took a week or two off to get married and then went straight back into the gym. So it's all the sparring, it's been all it's been really all setting up for this fight. When I spoke to Edgar Berlanga a few weeks ago actually in New York at a matchroom media event, he played on the fact that Jason got married, went off and got married and his head hasn't really been in this camp. Is it actually the opposite? Um yeah, like I know I, Jason's wife, we're gonna say partner Jason's wife she's very she's as dedicated and wants it as much as Jason wants it, so she's not you know, some of these wives, they want you, <laughs> not some of these wives, but partners, yeah. they want you home or away, you going to the gym. No. Jason's been living in Dublin, right beside me, away from Donegal, and having a full full camp, full training camp, yeah. So I've not seen any problem. And these things can motivate you as well, you know, becoming a married man and um, gets, you know, he's probably start looking ahead for the future now. He knows that. It's not that many fights left, or he won't be in many opportunities after this one if it doesn't go well. So it's time to change his life. What's the weaknesses of Edgar Berlanga, and what does Jason Quigley need to do to exploit those on Saturday night? He's quite flat footed, um, doesn't cut the ring off well, um, throws wide shots, and at times can look a little unsure of himself in the ring. His technique is not like he doesn't close the ring off well. and. Um, there's a lot of holes in his technique. Um, for Jason, what Jason has to do is, he's still got to get his respect from Blanga early on. So that will mean putting something on him early on to let him know that he's dead, that he's in a fight, that he just can't walk in the distance early and not expect to get hurt. But also then Jason has to have the ability to box, to make him fall short, to make him pay. And when he does make him fall short, and just create those little doubts and keep boxing, keep boxing and boxing and boxing. Is this a new lease of life for Jason Quigley? If he gets the win on Saturday night, then you can go on and speak about maybe the Charlos, the Canals of this world? Yeah, well, Jason's never fulfilled his potential as in a professional ring yet. I don't... Good win over Mosley Jr. Now, that looks better than... Since then, he's won a few fights, Mosley Jr. Now. So... Um, like, I wonder if how Mosley Jr. and Belenga will go. That'd be a hell of a fight, you know? But Jason's above these guys, should be above these guys. And when you consider his amateur career, all the experiences he's had now, different pro gyms he's been in, all the spars he's had, it's time to fulfill the potential. It's time to live up to the name because he's been touted for a long time, but it's time to actually do it now. Before I let you go, just to touch on the Tyson Fury stuff, he's come out with a video today to say that he's got a big announcement incoming. Luke talked to you yesterday to Eddie Hearn, and the options are quite limited for Tyson as to who he can fight. Who would you like to see him face next? Uh, I'd like to see him fight Usyk. And, uh, the, well, yeah, well, Jusek's fighting Dubois, and this fight's fighting this guy, Joyce is fighting Zhang. Um, I don't know. Like, I've been with Tyson, I've been with him recently, and I've been with him, obviously, the last few years, but I know, personally, I know how hard he tried to make those fights, 
and he's come out bad in the public's eye. There's this perception that he did what he could to get out of Tyson. I've seen the emails. I've been there back and forth with him, and I know honestly he tried to make those fights with AJ and with Usyk. Show me the emails of the offers and everything, but um, he's being frozen out. It seems to me, and maybe it's a bit of a shame because we might be losing his best years to inactivity. And Tyson likes to stay active, so. I'm not sure what this new announcement, announcement is, but I'd like to see him fight anybody. I'd just like to see him stay busy, because he's a fantastic fighter just to watch. It doesn't matter who he's fighting. He sells out anyway. When we spoke to Eddie yesterday, he touched on AJ possibly you know, fighting someone like uh, Cabayel. Then there was rumours last night came out that it might have been Big Baby Miller. Would you maybe like your charge Joseph Parker in there with AJ? Yeah, we'll take that fight in a heartbeat. Um, maybe they don't want to go over old ground because they've already beaten Joseph, but I think it'll be a different outcome this time, or a different, different, definitely a different fight anyway. And yeah, I'd like to see AJ. I'd like to see AJ be active too, though. You know, and I don't. There's no hate for AJ. Him and Joseph was a very good fight, and Joseph's style now is much lot more entertaining than it was when they first fought because Joseph fought too cautiously. Um, but Cabal, I think, is a difficult fight for for anybody. Good boxer, awkward style, negative style. The Drone Miller fight, it's a good entertaining fight. Now, the drug issue, put that aside, it's a good entertaining fight with the controversy and everything else. But whether he should get the fight or not after his history, I, I wouldn't probably agree with it. But um, I'd like to see AJ stay busy as well. I don't think you need to keep having these mass big fights all the time. I think it's going against these heavyweights so just looking for big fights because they're not always there. Sometimes you're better off just to stay active. Well, Andy, we'll catch up again this week. Really appreciate your time. Thanks, mate. Thank you. Because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up, Harry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We need their guilt, please.